episode five. Today we're talking about momming. So today I've got with me Casey Sylvain, mm-hmm. Pastor Dave's wife, and Toya Hill, Pastor Colby's wife, and I am Ashley, the kids director here. <laughs> I almost said pastor, not a pastor. <laughs> Um, so here uh, we're talking about momming. Um, so to get us started off, we wanted to talk about our first mom memories. So okay, um, my first mom memory, I had my first child 13 years ago, and some moms might not like this, but <laughs> I, I did not like all of the stuff that comes on babies when they come out. So <laughs> my first memory was make sure he's clean. Before just, before, before they before the kiss. Me, yeah. Got I, to clean the baby off. I just can't do it. I can't do yucky things like that. So <laughs> yep. Yeah, well yes, that's before my first mom memory. Yes, before momming, before you get into all of the runny noses and the yep. diapers. Ugh. It's new. Uh-huh. So yes, I totally get it. Do you have a first mom memory? Yes. So Mine was going like into labor and just not knowing the process. Like, how am I supposed to get this baby out? (laughs) was my whole question. And she was like, you have to push. And I'm like, how do I push? Like, it didn't make sense to me. So then she was like, push. I'm like, okay. She's like, make noise. Like, oh. (laughs) So I was like, I don't know what to do. So it was just confusing from the very from the very from before the, very the baby even got, got here. Got here it was I didn't already know what to confusing. Do. I was confused. Well, I have two. <laughs> I have two from Ethan. So we have our oldest is eleven, and for me, when he came out, thank God, both or all four of my, um, I guess, labors and delivery were were quick, like a few pushes, and the kids were out. But with Ethan. As I was pushing, the doctor told me, wait, 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 wait. Like, they weren't ready. Like, I was pushing, and he was coming, and they told me, like, slow down. And I'm like, but I, I can't. I don't, I don't, I don't, how do you hold it up? <laughs> like, trying to hold it up. And they're like, okay, push. And I'm pushing, and then they're like, wait, wait, wait. And I'm like, ah, two times. I can't do this two times. But I guess he was enough coming out that he, when he came out, he had this, like, floppy top on yeah. his head. So in the pictures that we have... I'm holding him and I'm just like this. <laughs> like it's supposed to be this beautiful moment when your kid comes and all of my pictures are like, they gave me the wrong one. They're <laughs> supposed to be cute when they come out. Yeah. Um, but then after that, because you're there, you figure out over the next two days or yep. so yeah. that you are 100% not qualified to care for this other human being. So we were like getting ready to check out of the hospital and I'm like, "Um, but who, which, which one of the nurses is coming (laughs) with me? (laughs) Who's coming as well? Yeah. Because this is not some, I cried. Who said I could have this? I have to do all this on my own? (laughs) Right, because you had a whole team in the hospital to help change the diapers. And, oh, the baby's crying. Somebody comes in and holds it sometimes. I'm like, oh, okay. Bring me food. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We had no family. So it was just Dave and I. Mm. So, yeah. So Dave brought you every meal that you needed to, like breakfast in bed and... (laughs) <laughs> no? no, he's got to make up for that. We'll let him know. He needs to make up for that because he did not. He did not. Um, so the next topic, just just being a mom, being called to motherhood, is such an important role. It's an yeah. important job, but it's also important for us to maintain our identity as a woman, as a wife, yeah. as an individual. Um, so I'd like to just talk about what that looks like for each of us. Um, I think I'm just gonna be honest. I don't really think that I'm there. Like I, I, my oldest is 13, um, biologically. And I don't think that I have yet to find my identity again as Casey. Yeah. Like, you know, when people meet us for the first time it's oh you're dave's wife or you're noah judah olivia's mom Mm -hmm. renee's mom right like whoever's daughter you know it i 
haven't found Casey yeah. yet. Yeah. So it's That's, been a long time. But that is very profound, I yeah. guess, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, because I, I can definitely relate to that because once you have a kid Mm -hmm. and even, um, you know, Amanda had Nora and she was like, I am now Nora's mom. Yeah. Like I'm no longer Mm -hmm. just who I am. And it, and that's really true. Like I am, you know, Ethan, Evan, Ella, Eli's mom, um, or, you know, my husband's wife or like, oh, you're Robin's daughter or like it, that truly is. Um, a lot of the the weight of the identity. You get lost. Yeah. 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 And I feel like I try to try to find that balance. And then at one point, I always found myself feeling guilty for doing things for myself. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I just remember even recently, there was a time where I wanted to go somewhere. And um, Kobe and I actually wanted to go. And But one of the girls also had practice. And so I'm like, okay, let's split this up. You're going to go take them to practice or let's flip the coin. Let's go to see who's going to do what. And then like, I was just walking into work and I'm, I called him back. I was like, no, we're both going. Yeah. We're all going. They can miss, she can miss a practice yeah. for one day. Um, you understand and figure this out. Right. We do this every single day for you. We make sure you get yeah. to practice. We make sure you yeah. did this, you get that. Um, but there are times that we need to be able to do things for ourselves. Um, and not feeling guilty about it. And so that's been something that for myself, especially been trying to practice, because I think just as a mom, I naturally um, pushed the role of a wife in the background. Mm. And was just kind of like, all right, dude, thanks, you did what you were supposed to do. (laughs) (laughs) So now I'm gonna go ahead and be a mom. Thanks for the babies, (laughs) you did your job. (laughs) (laughs) And it was just kind of hard, and he was just kind of like, it was almost like having another child, like, hey, yeah, I'm here. What about me? What about no. me? Like, you did your job, thank you. <laughs> so it was, I think it was just hard to find that balance and then being able to hear, like, you know, know you are a wife and before you had your child, like, you had a husband. And that's mm-hmm. what you need to make sure that you continue to be um, and not forget about that and find that balance. And then also find, like, who you are uh, and staying with whom you are, being yeah. true to yourself. Um just as not only a mother and as a wife, but just Latoya, just in general, right. who yeah. I was before I got married. So just trying to find um, that balance. And now it's, of course, gotten even harder, considering now that my husband's a pastor. So yes. now it's just like, oh, <laughs> So that. he has to be yes. available for everybody all the time. Yes. Yes. And just like, it, there's just more mm-hmm. pulling, you know, from yeah. Y'all's relationship. Yeah. It's just more time and yeah. more. Yes. You can relate as well. Oh, yes. Gotcha. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, so I guess I, I kind of got a, a question off of what you started to say. Um, you were saying about how um, with everything changing, um, you know, with the relationship and everything, how do you, how do you, maintain i think colby was talking previously on on one of our other episodes shout out um (laughs) about how you two make time for one another and and you do your own independent things is Mm -hmm. that something that you find is helping Mm -hmm. in in your own keeping toya yeah is that is that helping yes absolutely um just because I feel like there's just things that I want to do and need to do that necessarily are not with him and things that I did before even meeting him that makes me who I am. Yeah. Um, and it's just good to be able to have that time apart to still be able, um, you know, to be ourselves. Mm-hmm. But then I feel like it brings us back closer together and enriches um, our relationship. Um not even as just being married, but also as being parents and just being that reflection for our kids to mm-hmm. show them like, yes, we're together, we love each other, but that doesn't mean that we have to lose who we are individually gotcha. to be able to make this thing work. So just to have like that, um, you know, that key true example of what marriage should look like. Um, and that's kind of, that's really important to Kobe and I. So. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So um, when we grow up, 
we yeah. will <laughs> we will be like Julia when we figure it out. We're still trying to catch up to that. We're not there yet. No. I am personally, I'm not, I'm not there no. yet. Um, all right, so how is momming different than you imagined? Because I know when, you know, mm. we watch older movies, you know, there's the white picket fence mm. and, you know, the ladies are in their dress mm. and they're holding the baby, dinner's on the stove and everything's ready and, you know, it just, everyone <laughs> oh. listens. Like, it's beautiful. Oh, it is amazing. <laughs> like, that's what I signed up for. Yeah, um, so. That is not what is happening. <laughs> I've never not seen those all. shows. So <laughs> oh man! I don't know what that is. Nope, that is furthest thing from what's happening in our house. Like, yeah, I just started working again this past year, so I was home for twelve years. Okay, with the kids. Wow. Um, so even then, being at home, dinner wasn't always on the table. Kids were not always dressed. Kids were not always happy mm -hmm. when dad came home. Mm -hmm. Like. That's just reality, and yeah. now it's the same thing. Like, <laughs> it's, dinner is not ready. Like, I am winning if I can get stuff in a crock pot and it mm. be done and good yes. and not burnt yes. by okay. the time that we actually get home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes Five we're late, are and, yeah. and then it's like, burnt. Yeah. <laughs> And then it's pizza for like the fourth night in a row. <laughs> I, can I just share how much I love pizza? And <laughs> I should invest in many of the pizza companies yeah, because we don't discriminate. It, it could be in, it could be frozen pizza, no, it could be delivery. We could go pick it up. Mm -hmm. I love pizza. The it's kids amazing. love pizza. That's our well, What that's I our thought mm -hmm. motherhood would be like was very obedient kids because I'd be down on the floor with them all the time and teaching them and yeah. growing with them and we would be cooking together and exploring the world together and that just didn't happen all the time like mm -hmm. it, there were times when that did happen and it was great and I cherish those moments but I think even now still I carry the mom guilt that those things didn't happen that my kid didn't have this all the all time of them. Mm -hmm. yeah well, yeah didn't have the all of these wonderful experiences and memories with me because one, I had some difficult little boys. They were mm -hmm. awesome. They had great personalities, but they were just sensory kids. Gotcha. Like they they had a hard time. Um, but also I was having a hard time. Like, I don't know if it's okay to go there, but I dealt with postpartum a lot. Oh, let's go there, after girl, yes. All of them. Mm. I didn't know it after Noah. Mm -hmm. Or I was just too exhausted to admit it. Mm. But um, definitely after Judah, I started on medication. And I've really been on it since. Mm -hmm. uh, because chemically, I just was not right yeah. after having your, kids. Your body changes. Yeah, like, absolutely. There are with major every single changes. pregnancy. Yeah. So I was not okay mm -hmm. when they were young. Dealing with all of them, all three of them. Being responsible for all three of them. And Dave needing to go out and provide for us. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, it was a lot different than what I thought it would be. Do you feel like 100% um, no judgment, no yeah. anything? Like we, I think all of us are, are, are going through similar situations. Yep. Do you feel like if there would have been more communication or a different type of communication, maybe a, a separation of duties or yeah. or some some way for him to contribute differently than he did would that have made it better easier more manageable probably, when you when you look now probably mm -hmm. um but for him he didn't grow up like understanding depression at all okay so he didn't know how to help me mm -hmm. and i didn't know how to tell him how to help me yeah mm -hmm. so we just got mad Okay. That was it. You yeah. know, I feel like husbands need to be educated more on depression, on mm -hmm. postpartum. On postpartum yeah. Like, mm -hmm. what what can I do to help my wife? How can I be a support? That's big. Um, because he just didn't know. It yeah. wasn't because he didn't want to. There just wasn't the education yeah. there yeah. for him yeah. Yeah. to know. And it was new to you. Too. Absolutely. And you don't know what you don't know. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. So, I think that husbands need to to have 
some sort of class or yeah. pamphlet or something because we have <laughs> yeah. all of those yeah. um, to, to know how to help and be yeah. a support and to communicate and not not in a way that is like putting the wife down or accusatory or, could, right. or like, yeah she just doesn't know what's going on inside yeah I feel like that's that's really important because when you're having a baby it's like oh yeah. well you know what to expect yeah. right. to do with the baby right. and you know how can you do these things but yeah. we don't really get into what changes are going to happen with your wife yeah. and how you can support her through those yeah because yes you both have just had a child but the woman is the one that has all of the chemical changes that mm -hmm. has all of the things going on um, within her own body yeah. that the husband might not be able to yeah. relate to right. so you know what resources are out there what can he do mm -hmm. to help his wife in those moments, yeah. um, in those situations. Yeah. <clears throat> I think even um, not just with understanding, um, you know, what's going on with mm -hmm. the woman, but I think um, just having a, a, a healthy understanding of the weight that you have just taken on right. as a mother. Yeah. Like, I don't think that mm -hmm. that gets spoken about yeah. enough yeah. Um, because I think that there are so many things. It's not just, okay, I have to keep this person alive <laughs> and show them love right. and, you know, teach them, you know, all the things I'm supposed to teach them mm -hmm. and raise them up and, you know, help them to know Christ and all of the, all of the many things that we're challenged with is, you know, being a mom. I don't think, um, the weight of that is, um, is clear or is maybe equally distributed because yeah. there is still, you know, like the men provide and the yep. women take care of the home. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that the weight of take care of the home is definitely not as easy, yeah. maybe as it seems. I think that yeah. that we're, we're coming into a time now that um, hopefully for our little ladies, you know, it'll yeah. be, um, there will be, you know, better communication and better resources to support them through because this is hard. Yeah, yeah. it's hard it for is. real, um, especially with everything that's going on right now. So we can roll into um, our last topic question. Um, so with everything that's going on right now, currently we yeah. have, yeah. Um, you know, schools are shut down, um, restaurants are shut down, like with this coronavirus that's happening. There are so many changes to everyday life. Yeah. We cannot go to the trampoline park today. No, no. If you ask me <laughs> again, it's going to be the same don't answer. <laughs> don't. We are not going to the trampoline park. Mm -hmm. um, but so with everything that's going on right now, like what does momming look like now? Yeah. Yeah. Everything's out the window. <laughs> just yes. throw the whole, just throw the whole momming away. Just Seriously, put it, throw it out the window. Like yeah, it's a free it for just, all right now. Scratch that plan. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's been hard, and I think more than anything, like we were talking about before, just explaining to them like what this is, yeah, um, the seriousness of it, yeah. and what we are trying to do, and why we are doing what we're doing, right. and why you're not at school. Um, this is not a vacation. Mm. <laughs> yes. So we're not just about to go and just do all this different stuff and right. hang out. Things are closed. Yeah. And um, I think, and then also even like the cleanliness. Mm. And so just for me, I'm a germaphobe anyway. And so I'm like, when we grow up, we're going to be like her. I'm so serious. It's going to be so good. Call me. You got a good one, dude. You got a good one. So I'm like, please, go wash your hands. Go here. <laughs> Go straight. As soon as you come in the house, up oh, there's the bathroom. Go straight to that bathroom and yeah. wash your hands. Um, but it's it's hard for them, and I can understand it because it's hard for me too. Yeah. Like yeah. you never thought that you would have to do something like this. Um, and so just trying to figure out, you know, what school looks like and being able to continue um, helping them with their learning process, and you know, asking. Taylor, okay, what were you doing in geometry? Right. Do you have the um, the syllabus so that right. I can continue what you were teaching? You know what you were being yeah. taught in geometry. You know, Chase, sit down, 
You read a book. No, <laughs> sit, sit, sit down. Sit. No, you can't go sit. to your friend's house. No, <laughs> leave me alone. Boy, where are you? <laughs> sit down. Where's the boy? Somebody you get her on stage. She's preaching right now. Y'all just don't even hear it. I just hope y'all know. Like, <laughs> Woo, real. she must have had a camera in my house too. Wait, stop. Sit, sit, sit. Where are you? No, no, you cannot. Yes, just go. Just yeah, go. Exactly. And finally, I think my threshold go. is way lower than it normally is. Yes, just go. Just don't touch anyone or anything. No, no. But just yes. And then I go to violence. So it's just like I'm gonna break your legs. <laughs> sit down. Before I take your ankles out. I'm just gonna remove sit them from before. your body. Yeah, it's no longer sit down. Sat down before. <laughs> So that's kind of what's happening in my house yeah. right now. It's very similar. Oh, very, oh very similar. Oh, my goodness. Oh. But you also have an advantage that we do not yes. have. You are yes. already an educator. Yes. So you already have that in your tool belt to yes. pull out. How are you yeah. doing? Oh, man. I, well, you know. We yeah. work yeah. here. Yeah. So the other day, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to print. I don't know where to go. I don't know their sign in. Like, I felt like I was not as an involved parent as I thought I was. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. That's like, so big. Like, oh, I know I, what's going on. You're right. I did not. I, I did know. not. I was not informed, like, at all. And all the moms at PTO are looking at right. you like, Mm, you should be joining. You should have been here. Been here. Shout out to the PTO. <laughs> yeah, you're doing a great job, but I Love can't you do guys. what you do. Um, so, yeah, just trying to figure out how to keep my middle schooler going, how mm. to keep my fifth grader going, and my third grader. Mm. Like, they're all at such different levels. Yeah. And um, some love school. And sit right down, and we'll do it, and want more work. Yeah. And others are like, nope, we're just gonna fight with you yeah. about no. every, every single no. question, no. every single no. problem. No. Yeah, just, just a really defiant. So, but also, I have to take into consideration the changes that are happening with them. Yeah, absolutely. Like, they yeah. don't know how to verbalize what's going on yeah. inside mm-hmm. of them because everything is so uneasy and mm-hmm. unstable. So. When they're acting out, that's probably a part of it. Absolutely. Like, I have to keep remem- reminding myself that. So I am trying to give a lot more grace than what I normally <laughs> would give. Mm-hmm. Um, but also maintaining routine and schedule. Because mm-hmm. for my kids, when we're just, like, loose and, and free-flowing, mm-hmm. they don't do well with yeah. that. They mm-hmm. do well with structure. Okay. So trying to keep structure yeah. has been difficult. Yeah. Uh, and work at the say, same time. Yeah. Like I'm all three of us are working yes. right. and yeah. homeschooling right. and and wifing, cooking yeah. and yeah. wifing like, and all of the right. things still yeah. to include an entire coursework I'm like, for multiple children. Right. right. I'm schooling them while I'm at work. Yeah. Like I run in, check on them. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, I taught Olivia all of the planets in the solar system. Like, we sat and did all the solar system. You? No, I did not include Pluto. Are so good. (laughs) But then I had to go out and, like, fix things on my computer and Mm -hmm. go back in. So it's it's a constant, like, push-pull right now. Um, And I'm not very good at giving myself grace. So I'm like, I should be good at Mm. all of these things. And I'm not good at any of them right now (laughs) because balls are dropping, and I don't like that. Yeah. So that's really hard on my heart on my mothering on my wifing on my yeah. friending like just it all right Everything. now yeah yeah gotcha. but you know i think like that's a time for where like all moms need to come together mm. for that type of stuff because you're not the only one that feels like that we probably all feel like that. absolutely and so being able to where you don't feel alone right and being able to call somebody to say hey can right. you help me with such and such and being able to Utilize somebody else's superpower, right? <laughs> that you necessarily don't yes, have. Yes, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think that would be helpful instead of us yeah. instead feel like we have to do it all and then stressing yeah. ourselves out and then before we know it, we're out here with one little piece of hair. <laughs> and cute. So, well, I mean, I do have to say, I think right now it's really important for, from what you said to to reach out and to partner um, because right now separation and um loneliness isolation, isolation, isolation. Yeah. is huge yeah. i you were a stay-at-home mom were, were you stay at home no. she's like i worked the no. whole time no. 
I stayed at home um, for a short period of time, for about two years, three years with the kids. I know you were there 12. for 12 years. Yeah. And there is a, a good amount of loneliness and isolation Absolutely. that happens with that. So I feel like even our working moms yeah. are kind of thrust into yeah. the stay-at-home mom life yeah. when you know things are shut down and you're teleworking yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so I think it's a really important one thing that I got from um, being at home with my kids. One thing that I got was community. Yeah. And yeah. I know we stress it all the time here at New Life. We're constantly talking about community and get in a small group and be a yeah. part of something. It doesn't have to be on paper, you know, yeah. like, but just have friends that you can call. Mm -hmm. I know even you were looking for resources yep. and Colby overheard you were looking yep. for resources. Mm -hmm. He's like, okay, Toy is an educator. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me part. And they have a kid in middle school. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me partner you with her because yep. she's got some resources. Yep. You reached yep. out on Facebook yep. and said, hey, I need, you yep. know, these resources yep. for this age group. Yep. Give me what you got. Yep. And, you know, people yep. from all over are responding. Yep. Yep. Um, so just using the resources that we have right. to be able to continue that the the feeling of community and right. and and to eliminate eliminate as much as possible that isolation right. because you're not alone in it you're yes. not doing this by We're yourself all isolated right. together yeah, all right right. Together. right get on a <laughs> right. FaceTime right. or uh, right. you know Marco Polo <laughs> or you know whatever app yeah. Zoom you know yeah. Zoom um, is doing school you yeah. know for yeah. a lot of the a lot of the country mm -hmm. um, so I mean whatever you whatever resources you have to find um, someone to partner with yeah. I think right yeah. now it's very important um, since we're talking about momming and you know owning you know part of yourself yeah. cut that 15 minutes out of your day mm -hmm. to call a friend right, right or your parents or whoever it is to just kind of breathe that that sanity back right. into your yeah. day yeah. when we have kids going crazy yeah. and being yeah, defiant yeah. and not sitting still and yes. wanting to go to the trampoline <laughs> parks. Goodness gracious. Oh, gosh. So we took that trampoline park for granted. So <laughs> you. Didn't we? Yeah, right? we did. Sky Goodness zone, gracious. We love you. <laughs> when we open back up. Yes. Amazing. Everybody's going to Sky Zone. Absolutely. <laughs> it's like Oprah. You're going to Sky Zone. You're going to Sky Zone. I wish you could do that. <laughs> Get all the jitters out. Go, run, have fun. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much for, um, thank you ladies for being You're here welcome. and talking about all the momming and everything. <laughs> um, and thank you all for tuning in and watching um, while we're talking about parenthood. Um, we are so, so, so thankful to be able to do life with you. Yeah. Yes. Um, so just keep looking out for the videos. We'll be here. Um, but remember to like, share, comment yes. on all the platforms, all the things. Just make sure you share it because like we were just saying, you're not in it by yourself. Yes. There could be another parent out there that needs to see this. So share it on your page. Um, get it out there so we can help more moms mom together. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good see one. Ya. See Bye. You